Buckle up, TFNers, it's time for a TFN Top 5. Over the years, there have been tons of films about tech and the tech industry. Some of them win multiple Academy Awards, like The Social Network or The Matrix, and others, well, others are so laughably bad they end up being awesome. These are the top five awesomely bad tech movies. Number five. Ah, oh, the early aughts. The dot-com industry was booming and teen movies like She's All That and Cruel Intentions were all the rage. So why not combine the best of all three into one film? What could possibly go wrong? Everything. 2001's Antitrust stars a Where Are They Now cast of Ryan Felipe and Rachel Lee Cook as super smart and sexy computer programmers hired by the totally not evil at all sounding software company Nerve, headed by Tim Robbins, who is totally not playing, but is totally playing Bill Gates. New ideas are ready to be devoured and redefined. This business is binary. You're a one or a zero. Alive or dead. Spoilers, he really means dead, because just like in the real world, billion dollar tech companies will hire the best and brightest from Stanford and then kill them for their ideas. Don't believe me? Go dig up the lawn at Google. It probably has more bones buried in it than Michael Vick's backyard. Number four. What happens when one celebrity star is rising and the other is falling? Well, they meet in the middle, known as virtuosity. The movie is about a scientist creating the perfect computer composite of 183 serial killers. Cause f it, right? Nothing could go wrong. You murdered that prisoner. And now they have to shut you down. I can't change what I am, Daryl. I will not be shut down. Spoilers, they tried to shut him down, but Russell Crowe is 40 terabytes. Nothing can stop 40 terabytes, especially if they're transferred into some magical blue computer goo that can transform into a human body. So now Denzel Washington has to chase Russell Crowe through Los Angeles to prevent Sid 6.7 from killing more people and regenerating his blue goo skin every time it gets shot off. Cause that tech existed in 1999 Los Angeles. Number three. Remember when virtual reality was all the rage? If not, consider yourself lucky. The Lawnmower Man showed us all what was possible if James Bond strapped an idiot gardener into a virtual reality helmet and pumped him full of chimpanzee aggression. Only in this world, prolonged exposure to virtual reality will not only make you smarter, but make you more attractive to women. Also, if you're gonna have sex with someone, make sure you use protection. And by protection, we mean wear a Tron suit and spin around in a gyroscopic spear. It's been 20 years and I still don't fully understand this movie. It's no wonder Stephen King sued. Number two. Two. Thank you, Annie. After becoming America's sweetheart with While You Were Sleeping, Sandra Bullock tried to recapture the speed audience that made her famous with 1995's The Net. The Net is straight up ridiculous. All right, first of all, basically the movie is about Sandra Bullock getting a floppy disk in the mail, exposing her to a web of conspiracy. Excuse me, World Wide Web of Conspiracy. Then the dudes who sent her the disk start erasing her identity, replace it with a new one with a criminal record. Also, they're able to make an airplane crash, because as we all know, a computer virus is an airplane's worst enemy. But the most awesomely ridiculous part of this movie? Sandra Bullock orders a pizza from Pizza.net alone in her apartment while Annie Lennox's whiter shade of pale sets the mood for her fireside computer chat with nobody. Number one. You knew before this list even started that hackers would be number one. 1995's love letter to the 90s, Hackers tells the simple story of zero cool and acid burn as they try and take down the plague by hacking the Gibson. Also, Matthew Lillard was there. Hackers showed us that all computers look like cities inside, computer code flies at your face when you're hacking really hard, rollerblades are cool, it's pretty easy to get the sprinklers to go off in your high school, the best hackers on the planet look like Asian clowns, and Angelina Jolie's boobs are awesome. As a movie, it's terrible, but as a campy piece of mid-90s nostalgia, it's amazing! So what are some of your favorite awesomely terrible tech movies? Let me know in the comments. And for more tech feed, subscribe to the channel. Also, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying half of these movies came out in 1995. It's really saying something about 1995. It's a terrible year. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying, Hack the planet, y'all! That's what they say in that movie, right?